Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites. We're going to talk about all of the beauty products I was loving in the month of March. If you hear an echo, I took out the rug that was in this room, so I apologize if that's annoying. I'm in the process of redoing my beauty room, so I got rid of my rug and I purchased a new one, but my new one hasn't gotten here yet, so please. If you hear an echo, I'm not sure if you can, I can hear the echo, but if you can, I'm sorry. Also, another thing I want to mention before I go ahead and get started on this video, I know there wasn't a video up on Monday and I spoke about this on Twitter very briefly, but I'm just kind of dealing with something right now. It's not something that's too crazy or anything for you guys to worry about, and I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to get you guys worried for no reason. I know I'm not making any sense right now. I'm just dealing with some personal things in terms of my health. Nothing too crazy. I'm fine. Just some things I have to take care of and they have just been consuming my thoughts every single day. I've had really bad anxiety, but I am fine. Thank you so much for your sweet tweets. Everything is okay and yeah. Let's talk about other products I've really, really been loving. And the first thing I want to talk about is something I have been loving so much. I am so incredibly obsessed with this and honestly, Honestly, I haven't even been using it for that long because I just recently got it, but I love it so much I have to talk about it today. So this is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. And I really wanted to talk about it quickly because this is limited edition and I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to be available. And I picked this up because I saw Trend Mood. If you follow that Instagram account, Trend Mood is always posting like brand new releases, when products are going to come out, all that stuff. So I saw that she posted a picture of this and said it was available on the Marc Jacobs website. So I went immediately and I purchased it, but I think it was only available for a couple of days or something like that. But now I believe it is officially out. I think that was kind of like a pre launch but anyway I picked it up and wow I am obsessed with this and I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do because I have the original Marc Jacobs bronzer this is the permanent Omega bronzer this is in the shade tantric I don't really like this I bought this because Manny raves about this and I love Manny but I don't love this I think if for my skin tone it's a little bit too warm and you could see it here compared to Tantastic. Yeah, Tantastic. This one is a little bit more cool tone and I find that this works a lot better on my skin. I absolutely love this, while this one is just, it's not my favorite. I love everything about this. I love the mirror, it has a huge mirror, such good quality. You get a really big pan. You get a lot of product with this bronzer. It has 25 grams, which is a lot more than a standard typical bronzer. So yes, this is an incredibly pricey bronzer. I believe this is like $50. That's expensive. That's expensive for a bronzer, but you do get a lot of product. So if you break it down by that, it's not terrible. But anyway, besides that, I love the packaging. I just love everything about this. This even smells like coconuts. I forgot to mention that. It's part of their whole coconut collection. They recently came out with this the coconut setting spray. I have this mini one because they gave it to me as a sample from Sephora. They also came out with their bronzer brush, which is just like their original bronzer brush, only this one is in the limited edition packaging. So I also purchased this when I bought this. I do get PR from Marc Jacobs, but I purchased all of this myself. I just couldn't help it. I'm obsessed with anything coconut. Anything that's themed around coconut and summery and white packaging, I just, I fell in love. But anyway, oh my gosh, I've been talking about this for like five hours. I think this is the standout product out of this collection. It's the bronzer I'm wearing on my face today and I just feel like it gives you such a beautiful tan in a non-orange way. It's so beautiful but it's not ashy or too cool toned. I love it. I love the undertone in this and the scent just gets me every time. This is going to be my go-to bronzer for spring and summer. I already see it happening. I will say though that the Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist sucks. I know that seems really harsh but the spray sucks. Like it just it just spits at you. It spits like little dots of oil all over your face and then you stay with those like oily dots on your... I, I do not like this. I'll probably go into more detail in a future disappointing products, but I would not recommend this. So the next guy I want to talk about is this. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I was trying to get my hands on this forever on the e.l.f. website, but it was sold out and then e.l.f. kindly sent it to me. So thank you so much, e.l.f. I love this. This is actually really good. At first it threw me off because I'm not used to putting on a primer like this. This is just a balm stick. You just roll it up and then, the, you know, the stick comes out. Pretty self-explanatory. It says it's a clear cooling balm that helps hydrate and prep the skin for makeup application, enriched with purified water, shea, and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. I wouldn't necessarily consider this like super moisturizing and super hydrating. 
for me I always go to the Becca first light priming filter whenever I want like some hydration but this this is different I don't know how to explain it sometimes around my mouth I get very dry or in my t-zone my t-zone is the driest area on my face and whenever I smooth this over my skin it like absorbs my dry patches I love this I apply this to my entire face I'll just like paint it everywhere and then I'll just go on top and blend it out with my fingers to really push it into the skin it also works really well with other primers too you could put this on your face and then go in with another primer and I don't feel like this disturbs the other primer it's so good and I highly recommend it I want to give a shout out to the LC minimalist palette because it's so it's so nice. I have a tutorial using this palette where I did two looks in one. I'm going to link that tutorial down below just in case you want to see this bad boy in action. But I love this. It's just so practical. I have been reaching for this almost every time I put on eyeshadow because I have everything I want. I use this color to set down my primer all the time. This is the perfect crease shade and then I always use the black as an eyeliner and the brown on the outer corners. The one that I don't use as often is this reddish shade which is weird because I love those tones. But on a daily basis I always I always use shades like this and yes I have a million eyeshadows that look just like this whether they are in singles or in other palettes but I love that this is so small it has all your basic shades it's so easy to travel with it has a great mirror it's just everything I want and the quality is there this black is so black. It reminds me a lot of Makeup Geek's Corrupt or Urban Decay Blackout. I'm actually wearing all of these shades on my eyes right now except this one, but I also have this palette on my eyes today. This is the Morphe 35R. I was just testing it out for the first time today because it was just recently sent to me. I have this golden color all over my entire lid, and then I have this shade in my crease and this underneath my brow bone, but the rest of the eyeshadows on my eyes are from this palette. I really recommend this, especially if you are a minimalist yourself. I think you will really like this. So if you keep up with ColourPop, you would have known that they have been recently coming out with so many different limited edition collections. They had a Nectar one, I did a whole video on that, and they recently came out with a pink one and a sand one. And unfortunately, it's all limited edition which ugh, I hate that because I have been obsessed with this. This is definitely my favorite thing that has come out out of all three collections. This is one of their face duos that has a blush and a highlight and this is the one in double play. Like I said, they have two other ones but double play is my favorite. I love this. I'm wearing this blush on my cheeks right now. When I posted a picture of this on Instagram, a lot of you guys were wondering if this could be used as a bronzer and Maybe depending on your skin tone, but for me, it's more of like a peachy bronze blush. I love it. I love it so much. I love the color. I love everything about this blush. I think it's going to be so nice in the summertime, especially. I just, I love the color. I'm also wearing this highlight on my face right now, which is also stunning. It's also my favorite highlight they've come out with. Out of the three, of course, it's just so so beautiful. It's the one that matches my skin tone the most. To me, it's the perfect blush and the perfect highlight and they just go so well together. Um, I really wish they would just like make this one permanent. That would be awesome. I have nothing negative to say about it besides the fact that the names aren't on the actual packaging. That drives me crazy. I want to talk about the new Eco Tools sponge because it is quickly becoming one of my favorite sponges at the drugstore. I think I even like this one more than the Real Techniques one which is crazy. Their original orange one was my favorite at the drugstore, but now, now I, I think I like this one more. I love the shape of this guy. It's round at the bottom like a beauty blender, which I love. It's a little dirty because I used it today to put on my foundation. Then here at the top, it's completely flat. And at first that threw me off because I thought, okay, I could never blend out my under eye concealer with this, but you totally can. You could even turn it on its side right here and you got a pointy side like a beauty blender. And you could just use that pointy side to blend out your concealer. But what I really love about this is that you can also bake with this. I spoke about a baking sponge in a previous favorites video, but ever since I got this, I don't use that one anymore because this has a flat edge and I could bake with it just like I could bake with that Veramona one. So I feel like this is a sponge of many traits. It could do it all pretty much. I just love it. It's so squishy. It applies my foundation really nicely and it's so easy. You just like... I purchased mine online either at Target or at Ulta, but I'm pretty sure it's in stores and it's pretty affordable. It's only like $9 and it comes with another sponge. So you get like a duo. The other one is just a little bit smaller, which is perfect for like cream bronzer or cream blush or even like liquid highlight. $9 for two sponges. That's pretty freaking good considering this is very similar to the beauty blender. So yes, I give this an A++++++.
The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer is not a concealer I have been using for that long since I tried it for the very first time the other day in a video, but I'm obsessed with this. I have used it every day since that video and I love it so much. I can't believe I didn't want to give it a shot earlier. I had read a lot of negative reviews about this concealer, which is a little weird because I find it to be so nice. I think what I love about this the most is its blendability. It blends so easily. I don't think I have a concealer that blends this effortlessly. You put it underneath your eyes and you tap your sponge like three times and boom, it's blended onto the skin. The only thing that kind of sucks is that it's not super full coverage, but I'm okay with that because it just blends so nicely onto the skin that it's really easy to build. Like I have it underneath my eyes today and that second layer just added a little bit more coverage and it looked nice and smooth. It wasn't cakey or crepey. It's just a really great concealer and it is quickly becoming one of my favorite drugstore concealers. Okay, so let's talk about some lip products and then we can go into a couple hair products. This has been my everything this entire month. If I could only choose one favorite of the month, like one, it would be this. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss in the shade Groovy. Now, I've had this sitting in my collection since Bare Minerals sent me their lip glosses and I never really played around with this color until I saw a haul. I said that weird. A haul by Jaclyn Hill. She did like a Sephora haul and she purchased this shade and then she put it on in the video and I was like blown away by how beautiful it looked. So I ran to my beauty room and looked through my lip glosses and I found it and I have been wearing it ever since I saw that video. I wore this in my last video. I wore this in the video before that with Emilia. I even wore this to the World Baseball Classics. It was USA versus Dominican Republic and I wore this lip gloss to the game and it stayed on my mouth the entire game. This is the only thing I wore on my lips and throughout the entire game like I felt it it was it was on my lips and it stayed intact yes the gloss did fade like the sheen to my lips did fade pretty quickly but the color was pretty much there I've been wearing this lip color for a few hours now so it's starting to lose its shine let me just add a little more I love this. The key is to not apply too much though. There are a couple things I don't like. Let me explain. If you apply too much of this, it will get goopy and you'll get that weird line in the, you know, inside your mouth. If you apply too much, that will definitely happen, but a little bit goes a very long way with this gloss. It is extremely pigmented. It is nothing like Buxom White Russian. You guys know that's my all-time favorite lip gloss. That one is a little bit sheer and more like glossy. This one is a little creamier and it's much, much more pigmented, but I just love how opaque it is and it gives like full color, full coverage. And I love the color. It's very, very nude. It almost like washes out your lips, but I kind of like that and I feel like it pairs really well with a ton of different lip liners. I just, I love this. I love it on top of lipstick and I love it completely on its own. Okay, so this next one makes me laugh so hard because a lot of you hate this. This is the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the shade Instinct. I recently spoke about this in an underrated makeup products video and now I can totally see why this is underrated. It's because a lot of people don't like this. And I can totally see why people don't like this. This is a liquid lipstick and it's a very dry liquid lipstick. I probably should have mentioned that in that video. When they say matte, they are not kidding. These, when you apply them to your lips, they dry almost instantly and they stay completely matte for the entire day. But I kind of like that, especially with this color because it's not streaky or patchy. There are a ton of colors in the range that I actually don't like. I mentioned that in the video. Some of these have a terrible, terrible formula. I only truly love four of them. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, red orange liquid lipstick. It just lasts all freaking day and these are my favorite colors to wear on my lips. And I was actually thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, red orange is always like my go-to lip color. If I had to wear a lip color for the rest of my life, eat, well, it wouldn't, well, no, because it really wouldn't match with anything. I would probably wear a nude. But if I had to wear a bold lip color for the rest of my life, it would be a red orange. And then I started thinking like, I can't believe I've never created that. With any of my collabs, I've never really created a red orange, except Miami Fever, but that one is more of a burnt red orange. This is like a neon summer red orange, which are my favorite. I can't believe I've never created one. That's crazy. But anyway, I really have been wearing this so much, like all month. Whenever I've been wanting to pop on a red orange, I, I've been wearing this. Every time the warmer months come around, I mean, it's always warm in Miami, but you know what I mean? I have been going for this color. I just love this tone. I'm actually thinking about doing an entire video. Let me know if it's stupid. I want to do a whole video dedicated to my favorite hot 
orange red lipsticks like in all finishes juicy ones matte ones glossy ones let me know if that's something you would be interested in because that's my favorite lip color but I don't know if people really like that color so leave me a comment down below if that's a video you would like to watch I would obviously put them all on my lips and show you like lip swatches and stuff but yeah I have been loving this so much okay and then the last lip products I want to talk about are these bad boys these are the Tarte color splash lipsticks and I really really love these like a lot I will I purchased all four of these myself and I will say that the only reason I purchased these was because of this packaging look at this packaging look at this one this one has a lot of like the blue right there honestly I don't know what it is about these lipsticks but in my opinion these are the most beautiful lipsticks I have ever seen in my life just like looking at them I love that it's marble and I love that it's blue marble it's so summery and fun luckily I really love the formula too these are the two that I use the most pink lemonade which is a really pretty peachy nude and then I wear this one a lot too this is beach babe I wear beach babe a lot more <laughs> As you could tell, Beach Babe is definitely my favorite. It's the one I'm wearing underneath my lip gloss right now. I just tapped a little bit of this on and then I applied the lip gloss because I feel like that lip gloss applies better with a thin layer of lipstick underneath. But I really do like this formula. These are pretty matte, but they aren't chalky or anything. They aren't too matte. Sometimes not everybody likes liquid lipsticks, but they still want a matte lipstick and I highly, highly recommend these, especially because a lot of nude liquid lipsticks get really crusty on the inside of your mouth and I find that these do not do that to me and I have just been wearing these a lot pink lemonade is nice but sometimes I don't want a peach undertone this just goes with everything okay so my last two favorites are hair products this is hair product number one this is the L'Oreal air dry it roughed body mousse heat freestyle frizz resistant I'm actually not wearing this in my hair today because I decided to just let my hair do its thing today I don't have any mousse in it but I have been loving this mousse I do think it's frizz resistant it keeps a nice hold on my hair it says it has a strong hold for waves and curls and I find that to be the case but it isn't crunchy or sticky at first when you are applying this to your hair you're like oh my gosh my hands feel sticky my hair feels sticky things are getting Weird, but once it completely dries and like sets in your hair you don't feel it you could run your hands through it and it just feels really really nice I love it I think it really does a nice job of keeping my curls nice and curly and my favorite thing about this mousse is the scent this has such a beautiful scent I can't even tell you what it smells like because I don't know it just smells beautiful and it makes my hair smell that way for the entire day like I have people tell me oh my gosh your hair smells really good whenever I have this mousse on I just can't get enough of this scent whenever anything it makes me smell good I love it so much but besides the amazing scent the product is really nice as well and then my last favorite is something that I feel like I will never not use this is the marula intensive hair treatment and styling oil this has been a freaking godsend for me my hair it looks like I've only used very little I'm like down to right here it looks like I've barely touched this but I have been using it all freaking month granted I wash my hair like every four days but I also put this in my hair throughout the week so I don't only use it when I wash my hair and I feel like I've barely made a dent in it but a little goes such a long way with this product it's definitely something you have to be careful with if you use very little and you evenly distribute it throughout your entire hair it makes your hair so shiny and so tamed like so tamed whenever I feel like okay my hair is really really frizzy like it's really bad I'll just put a little bit of this rub it in my hands and put it throughout my entire hair and it just takes away frizz instantly it gives my hair beautiful shine I just I have nothing negative to say about this it's silicone free color safe and it tames frizz and repairs strands it says it's for coarse curly or thick hair so if you have very thin hair but you still want to use this like I said use very little I have a lot of hair but I have thin hair and I still find that this works for me so well. It is my baby. It is my little baby. So yeah guys, so that completes this video. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite product in March was. And if I haven't tried it before, I will definitely check it out. But yeah, thank you guys for always being so supportive and loving and accepting whenever I tell you guys like, oh, I'm having a moment. Thank you so much for just being so kind all the time. I am wearing the Kale Polish nail polish in the shade That's What She Said. My spring polishes will be coming very soon. They will be releasing in April. Please be patient with me. We fell behind with this launch. There was just so many factors and so many things. And yeah, definitely make sure you are following the Kale Polish Instagram. It's just Kale Polish because that's where we are revealing the spring shades. And also, thank you for so many positive comments on the colors that we've revealed so far. I really hope you guys enjoy the colors. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I forgot to put on the lip gloss. Oi. Like I said, they have two. Oh, I have one each. Primer, I just, I just, I really, I just, I just, I just. I also don't know why I bought this because I don't really love the original bronzer brush. And this is legit the exact same brush, only in white. Why does packaging suck me in so bad? This is ridiculous. I don't think this is worth the money. Also, like, it's, it's so expensive for a brush. 